she next after the other Monte Carlo the 73 and she next and once I get those projects out the way I think right now this is the first one I'm going to this is my personal though this is my 08 Impala SS I'm going to get her out the way uh, I'm probably going to change the color of course it needs a paint job but I'm not going back original because I'm going to keep it and I kind of got to start over on Big big Daddy you know what I'm saying so uh, I need to figure out how to wire up I here got me some Rover seats I got the other one in that 73 but I got these Range Rover buckets because it is armrest and I was talking to one of my partners to see how difficult it is to wire it up well, he told me all I need to do is uh, somewhat find uh, just a positive and a negative as long as I don't need all the, the other uh, accessories and whatnot, like you know uh, the lumbar support and uh, the heated and cool seats and all that and I'm like oh no I don't need it as long as I can adjust the seat you know what I'm saying if I can get the seat to where I can adjust it that's all I need I don't care about all the rest of it because this is then I need a module and all that type stuff so yeah but this is a work in progress I was driving it but uh man I had locked up my motor because my thermostat needed to be changed and I didn't know it I had just got it really you know what I'm saying my little kickers I had put in there <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, this is just, you know, I'm probably gonna fiberglass the dash. Uh, yeah, it's a work in progress, but I gotta get a new engine, which I think I already got one. Actually, I think I got a whole nother truck, but I ain't gonna say nothing about that. It's it's the same body style like this, except it's a extended cab, and it's not fleet side, it's step side. So I'm thinking about, going and picking that thing up man it's already running and whatnot so i just might do that that's my pops of the truck uh yeah and this is my 86 Monte Carlo SS yeah everybody been getting on me for letting her you know just sit and sit and sit <clears throat> but uh yeah i think i'm gonna have to start back on a little later got, got quite a bit of surface what's on it now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically restrip it. Uh, once I get all the projects out of the shop, the customer projects, once they out the shop, or I at least can get a space in the shop where this car can stay in, then I start back on it. But is if I can't just leave it in the shop, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, start working on it unless it's around the time that I can um, use my electrical DA. I can use my electrical DA and uh, do some work where I can at least panel it out at a time. You know, do get rid of, get a panel done at a time. That's the only way. Because stripping cars down, I learned my lesson, bro. If you strip them cars down and you're not going to go on and finish it, it's going to become an issue because you're going to get tied up, especially if it's projects. You're going to get tied up with other work. And once you get tied up with this other work, then you're going to end up kind of not working on the project. Remember, the metal exposed. So now as it rains or whatever, that, that raw metal getting wet now it's gonna create surface for us now you basically gotta re re sand retreat that area you know so that's why i say i'm not gonna mess with it until i can actually stay on it um uh, i actually have another car yeah this this uh basically was a donor but he said i can get it for the price he told me. So I was like, yeah, I might have to take him on that offer. <clears throat> I kind of, that the body style kind of grew on me. It's not necessarily my cup of tea, but it kind of grew on me. So I might, might go on and pick it up from him because eventually I'm gonna put an LS motor in my uh, Monte Carlo, probably my 5.3. I already have a 5.3. I might build it 
for a uh, boost. And right now, my Monte Carlo has a 350 and a 350 turbo transmission. So that's not definitely not gonna stay in there. So what I may do is I may uh, do that swap. And then since I have a couple of old other cars, then I may do that swap and put the 350 and the 350 turbo in one of them other cars after the you know i do the swap but uh that's that's a big possibility for me well yeah i was just uh making a little brief little video man that's all it was you heard uh, y'all stay tuned and uh i'll keep y'all posted